so in this video i am going to explain about what exactly the flat fill algorithm okay so this is the topic present in the computer graphics in the previous videos i explained the uh, scan line algorithm and boundary fill algorithm so now we will see another type of the algorithm that is the flat fill algorithm right so in this video i am going to cover the topics like what exactly the polygon is and what are the types of polygon filling algorithms and flat fill algorithm and working of the flood fill algorithm what are the features of the uh, algorithm and finally the advantages and disadvantages of using this flood fill algorithm so you all know that what do you what do you mean by polygon a polygon is a closed figure right so that is made up of line segment on 2d plane so the word poly means many and gons means sides so finally a polygon is a closed shape having many sides many sides so this is the definition of the polygon a polygon is a closed shape uh, having many sides so the examples of the polygon is square triangle pentagon hexagonal etc so how you are going to draw a polygon on the screen so first of all we need to select the pixel so select another pixel and try to join that pixel in that way we need to select the multiple pixels and if you join that pixel and you if you make that it is a closed shape then you call it as a polygon so see here this is a polygon and what are the different types of the polygon a different types of the polygons are the closed shape made up of line segment is called polygon that we have seen and the pixels that are present on the border and the pixels that fall inside the polygon or determined for coloring the polygons okay that can be determined the boundary and the filling can be determined by using coloring the polygon so that coloring can be happened by using different algorithms that is a scan line algorithm boundary fill algorithm and flood fill algorithm scan line algorithm you i already said that scan line fill algorithm means it fills the polygons using the horizontal lines okay so if a 2d plane is there if we are trying to fill the uh, polygon by using the horizontal lines whatever wherever the intersection points is there and try to uh, fill in between the intersection points so, so that is one way of filling the algorithm that is a scan line algorithm so it works by intersecting e scan or horizontal lines with edges of the polygon and fill the polygon between the pair of intersection that is what i said now and whatever the boundary fill algorithm it fills the area start at a point inside a region and paints the interior uh, outward towards the boundary and finally flood fill algorithm if you want to recolor the area then you can prefer the flood fill which is not defined within a single color boundary instead of searching for the boundary color values try to replace with a specified interior color called as a flood fill algorithm okay so the main difference in suppose if the polygon boundary is a single color if whatever the polygon boundary is there so this is a boundary so if this is a single color then you can go with the boundary filling algorithm no need to go with the no need to go with the flood fill algorithm when you are going to flood fill algorithm if the boundary is different if the boundary is a different so like that if you say take so the boundary is of one is yellow color and another part is a red color then if these type of polygons are there if the boundary is having a multiple colors then we are going to prefer the flood fill algorithm okay so now let's see what exactly the flood fill algorithm a flood fill algorithm is also called as a seed fill algorithm it is used in the fields of the computer graphics which works by the computing uh, the area that is adjacent or connected to a particular node when we are dealing with an array or more than one dimensions okay so the one thing is it works by filling a selected area so it is going to be work by filling a selected area so which contains a different colors at the interior portion and boundary of the image so it is often illustrated by a picture having a neighborhood bo bordered by various distinct color regions so to paint such regions we will replace a specific interior color instead of discovering a boundary color so the boundaries is of one color and the uh, filling color is of one color so the different colors will be there so then we need to uh, instead of replacing the specific interior color instead of discovering a boundary color try to uh, 
we will replace okay to paint such regions we are trying to replace a specific interior color instead of discovering a boundary color value so if you see the working condition then you will clearly understood what exactly the flood filling algorithm is the process in this method is that first point is selected try to select a point in the algorithm okay means in the polygon so try to select the point which lies within the region under consideration so this point you call it as a seed and hence the name you call it as a seed fill algorithm after this step we have to met we have two methods one is four connected and another is eight connected so this is your pixel this is your pixel so by using the four connected concept try to fill the above top right left uh, sorry bottom and the left this is a four connected and you can also use a eight connected approach also so this is your pixel so try to fill top bottom right left at the same time diagonals also so this is eight connected pixel using any of these two we can fill the colors in many ways it is similar to the boundary fill only but only the difference is we can fill multiple colors to the boundary and we can fill one color in the interior so in the interior so this this is interior right this is a shape of the polygon this is interior so the interior uh, the boundary may be of different colors the boundary may be of the different colors but inside is a single color the fill color is a single color the boundaries may be a different colors it checks the starting node and check its color and change its color within the replacement color similarly it checks all the nodes in the multi dimensional array connected with starting node then checks for the target color and change it with the replacement color so this is what it's doing this algorithm is used in the famous mind sphere game okay i think you guys are already played this game this is a free game that is present available in your uh, systems okay so microsoft paint and in many other things the complexity of this algorithm is directly proportional to the number of pixels in the filled area so let me take a simple example like or uh, let me take the algorithm uh, okay if you take the four connected so how we are going to uh, fill the color if you are taking the four connected so in the four connected let me take uh, the pixels if you take the blue this is a blue okay so i'm just taking a blue and next uh, consider different colors can be present on the boundary right so this is red and i'm going to fill with another color like uh, okay green okay so this is my polygon my polygon boundary is sort of different color so now i am applying uh, i am using like fill color so this is my pixel i have selected one pixel so the condition is old color old color or you can call it as a target color target color okay old color or target color suppose if it is a white new color should be yellow okay new color the fill color so let me take uh, this as a white color first of all let me take this as a white color this is white color so the old color or the target color is a white and the new color i have to fill it is a white uh, yellow okay so the condition check the condition the condition is whether the current pixel is old color yes the current pixel is old color or not yes the current pixel is a, a white only old color then try to color it with what color new color we need to color it with the new color so this is way we are trying to fill the color so in the same way go with the neighbors 
So how it is going with the neighbors? Let me write this. A flood fill node that is the coordinates, x and y coordinates, target color that is the old color and the replacement color that is a new color. Okay, first step. Suppose if target color is equal to old color, that is the old color is equal to the new color. Let me take the old only, then you won't get confused. If old color is equal to new color, then what you have to do? Old color, whatever it is there, that is also the new color, means yellow is already there. Okay, it is already filled with yellow. If it is already filled with yellow, then what you are going to do? Just simply return because you can't do anything because already it is filled with yellow only. Then try to return. Second step. If color of node, whatever the node is there, is not equal to, not equal to old color. If the color of the node, whatever it is there, it is not equal to the old color. So then try to return also because it is some, some other thing. So try to return it. And the third one, then set the color of node to new color. Then set the color to the new color. So finally what you are going to do, you have to perform the operations. Okay, so let me take the pan. So then finally what you are going to do, you have to perform, fill the color, flat fill. So one step to south of note. Then old color, comma, new color. In the same way, perform flat fill, one step towards the north of the node, old color and the new color. Next, perform flood fill one step west. So this is a four connected. So we need to check all the neighbors. Then whatever the condition that is satisfying, then we try to fill with the fillet color, east. Okay, if all these conditions are met and if uh, the coloring is over, it exits from the uh, Condition means if condition. So this is how the flood fill is working. Now let's see the advantages and disadvantages of using this flood fill. Ad, uh, advantages is it is easy to implement and flood fill algorithms are simple and efficient. Then what about the disadvantages? It is not suited in case of large polygons. If it is a large polygons, it is not suited. The seed is required for this algorithm because compulsory seed is required. So the initial and surrounding pixels is required. Flood fill algorithm is comparatively slower than the boundary fill algorithm. When compared to the boundary, it is somewhat slower. So this is about the flood fill algorithm students. So still if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.